Hooked on OC is proudly brought to you by the town of Ocean City, Maryland, Worcester County Tourism, the Harborside Bar and Grill, Sunset Marina, the Ocean City Fishing Center, Quiet Storm Surf Shop, Miller Light, Spencer Yachts, Sunset Grill, Fish in OC, Red Sun Custom Apparel, the Mid-Atlantic Tournament, Crabs to Go, Park Place Jewelers, Bayview Home Care, JPR Rods, the Maryland Coast Dispatch, and the Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC. I'm your host, Scott Lennox. Folks, we've made a little bit of a road trip this episode. We've got a lot of sponsors here on the program, and one of our favorites is the boat builder Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage. Today there's no fishing going on, but we're going to tell you how you get fishing on a beautiful boat. Anywhere from 47 feet all the way up to 74 feet. These guys are making world famous fishing boats with high speed, beautiful lines, and all around fishing fury. Stay tuned after the break. We're taking you inside, taking a look through the process right here at Spencer Yachts down in Manio, North Carolina with Daniel Spencer himself. We'll see you in just a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Quiet Storm, Maryland's largest surf shop. 32,000 square feet of the best selection of all the top surf brands. Featuring Billabong, Ruka, Hurley, Volcom, O'Neill, Rip Curl, and many more. Quiet Storm Surf Shop has the best selection of board shorts for your next trip to the beach or woven shirts for your next barbecue. Quiet Storm is the largest surf shop in Maryland, Virginia, and Delaware. On the boardwalk at North Division Street. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and Sportfish yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot sport yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City Beach and Boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the Mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, so we're back. Like I said, we're not going to do any fishing this episode, but we are going to take you along the a journey for a, how a Sp Spencer boat is built down here in North Carolina. Two stops along the way. Uh, one where the jigs and everything are built and put together, and then over at the main facility where all the goodies go on board, electronics, house goes up on top, and we are here with Daniel Spencer. What's up, bro? Hey, fellas. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much for having us, man. Listen, we want to show everybody how you guys do this. Um, everybody's seen the finished product. You know, we fish on Spencer boats on Hooked on OC all the time. Right. Uh, but no Nobody's ever seen the process on how you go through this, so if you don't mind, tell us what step one is and then we'll go through the journey and get the finished product at the end of the show. Fantastic. So we've gotten started. This 
this is a 74 footer we're getting started here we've actually just started we've laid our jig base and actually got the jig set up right now so this is the first start of the stage of our build you can see behind me they're laying the bow stem of this boat up for right now so we'll start by laying our bow stem and laying our keel and coming in with our stringers and coming down before we start putting any bottom on the boat and we'll be able to see that as we walk through this different process yeah now this actually won't be a part of the finished product right that's correct okay. this will actually come out once we've got the hull built and we flip it over and start from the inside up so the fiberglass and the base of the boat which we'll see in a couple of minutes actually comes off of this jig so you can use this how many times we'll use this a couple of times you know two to three maybe four times is what we'll get out of a jig unless we make some changes tweaks along the way as happens in a custom boat. Awesome, where are we right now? We're right here in Mans Harbor, North Carolina. Okay. In fact, this is the shop we started Spencer Yachts in, right here. So oh, we're awesome. proud we've got Hall 100 laid up in a barn just next door, but we started in this building right here. And when we, when we move from the process over to the next facility, where is that? We'll actually move over to Wanchi's, to where we have our travel lift, our paint bay, and the boats are more finished out and splashed on that side. Okay, so from uh, Mans Harbor over to Manio, we're going to step one of the process. This is the jig. We're going to start putting things on, on and then we'll start uh, check the next step of the process here in just a second. Okay, quick little jump over here just to no another barn uh, here in Mans Harbor. And this boat is obviously further along in the process. So Daniel, if you don't mind, tell us where you've gotten from step one to here. A little bit from where we've seen, we've seen the jig going up. We've seen the bottom going on the boat with our stringer and keel. The sides and then this is actually basically the finished haul. The guys are actually now fairing and sanding the hull down, working on, you know, fairing the hull. It's much easier to work with it upside down. Yeah. So we'll take this stage, and now this boat, we'll continue sanding on it, but we're actually gonna take it out of the barn in just a few days and flip it over with the crane and get it right side up. Explain the flipping process to me one more time. The flipping part, we're gonna uh, pull it outside, of course, with a big trailer. You can see we've gotten rid of our jig base underneath of it, and we'll pull it out with the trailer and actually grab it with the crane on either sides and pick the boat up, and kind of turn two straps loose and move around and pick it up with the other side and just let it upright itself. And once we upright this boat, we'll be able to come through and take out the jig stations we saw in step one. So all the jig stations come out, then you're left with the... Basically, we have the, the shell of the shell hull. Of the hull. We've got a couple of structural bulkheads yep. left in, and from there, we'll start sanding and glassing and building our way up for setting fuel tanks and fairing and sanding. Uh, to get the engines put in there. Yeah, and all that happens over in Manio. And all that happens over on Manio Wanchi okay. side. So on the Wanchi side of things, we're going to go there in just a minute. It's a quick little drive right down the road, but that's got to be an interesting trip also because you're taking these boats up to how big? 74 feet right up on the trailer? 74 feet. We bring them right over the bridge and right on in. It's a little easier trip because they don't have the cabin stuck on them yet at the yeah. bridge. So the height doesn't bother us. Just basically just the big wide boat this, coming down the this road. This is where you got to be careful. <laughs> we flipping, flipping it right side up, driving it over to Wanchi's. You're correct. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nervous part of the, the build. Yeah. Well, let's head on over there and take a look at yeah. the rest of this Sounds process. Good. Let's go awesome. check it out. Okay, cool. Okay, so we've made the next step along the process. We've moved the boat down here to Wanchi's. To Wanchi's. We're in Wanchi's from Mans Harbor, the first start along the process in the journey of a Spencer boat. And Daniel now is going to tell us about what's happened here. We're in the lift in a boat that's been flipped. And what, what happens next? This is this is amazing stuff to me, man. It's really, uh, it's cool really to be doing fun, this. man. We've made our trip over from Mans Harbor. We've trailered the boat over, and the boat now is at this stage. We've got our interior wall stood, and we are ready to set motors, generators in this boat. So our next step now is get the crane here and get the engines here and get them set in this boat, and okay. then set the main cabin on it so we can put it back in the building and keep it going. Okay, so engines and generators and stuff go in here, walls are stood up. Next step along the process is going back in the building. Going for... back in the building, we'll start tabbing the cabin down inside and then just keep going with our interior carpentry inside. Start with the wiring, you know, mechanical hookup okay. coming along and then we'll even look at bringing the bridge and setting the bridge on top of the cabin. House building stuff begins. The house building stuff begins. Okay. And once we get our cabin on, we can get our aft bulkhead and even start working with our mezzanine out here on the cockpit deck setting up you know ice dump freezer boxes cockpit grills whatever you decide yeah. to pick out in the layout and everything's custom everything's custom. people ask you something you do it we do it what yeah. do you want we'll show you different options that have worked good in the past sure and yeah. certainly take your ideas as well incorporate them in the boat well, the folks have seen us fishing in the back of a Spencer, Spencer rig before, <laughs> but I don't think they've seen it like this. They haven't seen it's it underneath. Pretty, it's pretty remarkable, man. Oh, man, it's just super and cool stuff. These are engine, or these, excuse me, these are uh, fuel tanks. These are some fuel tanks. Yeah. Of course, we build them right here in house in our machine shop. 
So we've got our aluminum fuel tank set up in. This is our cockpit deck, which is, we've, you see it's built with carbon fiber yeah. on it. So we're using all the- Real latest, lightweight, but real sturdy. Real lightweight, yeah. strongest materials we can come with to keep the Spencer boat on the cutting edge. Yeah, it makes it, makes it fast, but also strong. Makes it yeah. cutouts awesome. So, and this would be the, the back end of the salon, correct? This would be the back end of the salon. Okay. So we've got yep. our salon deck you're seeing here. A uh, little hard to see, but we've got a hatch that'll come out here. So if we ever have to do service an engine yeah. or installation them, this is where they'll come down That through. gets lifted up and the engines get dropped in. That's correct. Okay. And then back here, does this boat have a fish box like most of them do and all that sort uh, of thing? Yeah, this boat will see, what you see here, this batten running along the top, that's actually our deck height. Yep. It'll extend out. So from there up, we'll have a transom style fish box. Okay, yep. This boat's not getting an in-deck fish box, yep. but that's certainly an option along the way. This will have the one with the covers you flip back right there. Correct. What, what the traditional we're used to seeing and fishing with yep. here on the East Coast. This is pretty fantastic. It's uh, it, it's a remarkable process and we ho hope you guys enjoy us sh uh, showing it to you. So let's go to, let's go to the next step see what's let's up. Keep moving. Awesome. Great. Yeah, let's move. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. What do you get when you brew a light beer from scratch? A light beer that tastes like beer should. Miller Lite, never watered down. There it is, the Fishing OC spread by yours truly every week in the Maryland Coast Dispatch. Some of the best captains in the business submitting photos and pictures, and photos by our very own Dave Messick of Hooked on OC. 25,000 copies, newsstands all across Delmarva. Pick it up. There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. Fall into savings with Racetrack Auto and Marine. We're the one-stop Marine Center on Route 589, offering boat sales and service, featuring end-of-the-year sales on 2016 boats. An authorized Yamaha, Seafox, and Montego Bay dealer, family-owned and operated since 1987. We do it all. Take advantage of our winterization stow-and-go packages and receive a $50 discount. Don't wait till spring to get your boat ready to go. Summer is over. Is your boat ready? Hi, honey. Hey, you. So I was thinking we really need to get away. What about that month-long cruise in the Mediterranean? Hey, book it first class. Oh my gosh, you're the best. So I'm out shopping right now and I found these really cute pair of heels. How much are they? Um, they're about $1,000. For that price, get two. Oh my gosh, you're the best. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, whose phone is this? And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, quick little stop before we go into the barn. Uh, Daniel showed us this house. This house is actually gonna go on the boat that we were just in in the lift. And this is the uh, bridge panel that will go on top of this house. So basically that's correct, right? Yeah, this, this is our bridge we've actually built and it's ready to set on the boat as soon as we set the engine and generators and then we can actually well, the cabin, we can set the bridge right on top of it. You can actually see some things inside the cabin where we've got aluminum plates yeah. recessed in the cabin. So our outriggers can mount to them and we'll have different aluminum recessed for the tower. So when the tower mounts on the boat, it's got somewhere we can drill and tap into in the side of the cabin. It's got structure to hold it's on to that, that heavy building metal structure that's building outside. integrity there. Very cool. Okay. And then we're from here into the barn. And then here we'll go to the barn. Okay. Awesome. All right. So we've moved into the barn. Uh, obviously, these are different boats being, being built right now. So this is not the same boat. We have not edited this for content. Um, this boat here right next to us on my right hand side is one that does not have the house and the uh, bridge on it but the one over here on our left hand side does so as they come into the barn process goes. As they come into the barn this is pretty close process of what we just saw. This boat here is also similar to the one we just left. It's ready for its engines, generators. You can see the guys are prepping for the gyro and fuel tanks now. And where this boat beside us is a 
uh, a couple months ahead of it in production. It has its cabin. The guys have just put the back bulkhead in and are insulating the cabin up now, moving along in production. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. That, good spot to ask you this. How many boats do you have being built right now? Uh, I'd say right now in production we have about 13 builds at various stages wow. in production. From, Everywhere from, from a, beginning, building From the very started the point back in Nance Harbor to finished boats or, or boats we hope to finish in the next couple weeks here on the back dock. That's pretty awesome. Uh, hey, look, let's go say, check out the next step along the process. It's pretty awesome stuff. <laughs> okay, we've moved along to barn number <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in the route along the way. Uh, Jeff, how many barns do you have? Uh, we've got, we can house five. About 11 boats in the building at any given time, from the paint shed to man's harbor. Okay, so 90% of the boats you have in production can be inside. Can be inside. Be. Okay. We have two boats uh, being finished on the back dock right now. The last boat we were looking at was in one barn, and now it's over in another barn. And this boat that we talked a second ago is starting to get the touches. Yep. The mezzanine seating, the fish boxes in. As you see, we've set the back bulkhead from the boat we just looked at, where the bulkhead was set. We've cut the windows out, and we've got the mezzanine. Uh, working to set the lower mezzanine in this boat. We're setting up our different freezer boxes and working for the upper mezzanine right on up from there. You're really starting to see the Spencer shape, man, because you know you see the house now and the lines going up and the, and the really bridge does. the bridge rail is on, the windows are cut out of it now. We've got our traditional Spencer shape, you know, the guys have got the tow rail shaping it down now. So you're starting to see a lot more of what we're used to seeing at the marina. A lot more of the finished product coming into play here. And in a minute, we'll see some of the finished product in start getting into paint and things like that. That's right, right. we'll see yeah. the boats in the paint shed where they've got the different primers and fairing compounds. You see this one actually fairing it now, but we'll have the different primers and finished primers going on to build. And we'll see the boats out back when the guys are finishing the interior carpentry and putting the finishing touches on the wiring going in it. Wow. One of the things I want to point out is these guys, every single person that we've walked by has been really getting at it. I mean, they're they're grinding this this fiberglass and these heavy materials and stuff, and they are right into it. So the attention to detail that your company puts into these boats is like is un unbelievable, to be honest with you. Every square inch of this boat, the amount of man hours is just yeah. incredible. And every inch of this boat is just attention to detail over and over and over it again. It shows. It really shows. All right, let's go check out some of the some of the finishing details. Not quite done yet, but we're getting close. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore, available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to go, routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. Sunset Provisions has everything you need for a day on the water, including groceries and snacks, marine supplies, apparel for every season, ice, sodas, beer and wine, inshore and offshore tackle, Costa sunglasses, Pate Masters Tournament Whining Ballyhoo, and the best live bait selection in town. Call Sunset Provisions at 410-213-0081 or stop by just inside the west entrance of Sunset Marina in West Ocean City. The Mid-Atlantic 500,000, boat for boat, the richest marlin and tuna tournament in the world. Known for its great fishing, warm hospitality, and camaraderie, the Mid-Atlantic is a must-attend event for competitive bill fishing anglers. The fishing action and fun take place in two ports, home base for the tournament in Cape May, New Jersey, and Sunset Marina, tournament headquarters in Ocean City, Maryland. If you're planning on doing some competitive bill fishing this year, get the best bang for your buck and choose the Mid-Atlantic 500,000. Register online now at ma500.com. I was used for a doctor's appointment. I was used to assemble bunk beds. We were used to reorganize the garage. I was used to wait for the cable guy. I've been rolled over since 1987. Come on, people! They're called vacation days for a reason. Put yours to better use with a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Enjoy 10 miles of free beach, great places to stay, and a fun-filled boardwalk. Visit OCOcean.com and don't miss free family events like concerts on the beach.
And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, so we've moved over into the paint shed now where they start putting the paint on, transom, house, up top, bottom, everything. And I just got blown away. You guys may have seen our video of the gratitude last year during the White Marlin Open where they caught the Big Blue Marlin, right? Daniel was actually running the boat during that trip. We were lucky enough to be on board. Nick Denny, I gotta throw you a quick plug. Got the bite, the fight, the catch at the docks, everything for the first place fish in the White Marlin Open. It was absolutely awesome. So we come in here to the paint shed, and I remember how beautiful the back of that boat was, and Daniel tells me that it wasn't teak, it was paint. You gotta explain this to me, man, because this is awesome. This is pretty cool. This is paint actually here. There's a real talented guy here, local, his name's Josh Everett. He does a good job. What we do is we'll actually paint this yellow base coat you see down, and we give this base coat, and he'll come in and actually do what he calls the graining process, as you're seeing now, and he'll actually start painting the teak on the back of the boat, and it looks just like the real thing, which we'll see on a finished boat out back. And he's coming in here now and uh, putting the seams in. So this will look just like a book match transom. When he's finished, you know, it's got the look. It's the price, really. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. You know, it's much better than the real. You don't have the maintenance as you have with the real thing. But the look, when you see it finished, is incredible. This will look just like teeth when we're said and done with it. It really did. That's why I brought the example of the gratitude because that boat, look, it was beautiful. You, was know, awesome. you were on it. You know it was a gorgeous <laughs> boat, gorgeous rig. And uh, to, to know now that that is teak, that just that changes so many things in your mind. I mean, that, that boat, if it was real teak, has to be sanded and sanded you know, and varnished, yeah, varnished every year. all the time, right. You're a lot more worried if a fish does scratch it. Yeah. Oh, what are we going to do? Watch the transom. And now this is paint. It's easier to touch up. Yeah. It's not working like the real teak where... And soap and water. Soap and water. <laughs> soap Go and with water. it. You just wax it like you would your regular paint. Way less expensive than the teak maintenance, that's for sure. That's really cool. So we'll show you the finished product. But this is a really cool step along the process that you know you folks might not know about. I didn't even know about it, and I've fished on several Spencer rigs since we've been doing the show with you. So let's let's go to the next. So step. we're doing a lot of things like this boat. We're going to have our tow rail is going to completely be out of faux teak. Our drip molding is going to be out of faux teak. Okay. And we're actually going to take the bulkhead of this current boat, which is a first of anybody's ever done that I know of. So we're pretty excited to see oh, how that, that turns out. Yeah, we'd like to get some pictures of that when that happens because you're talking about you're talking about finishes and details. Finishes in this thing. and details and. Well, for us it's easy if we don't like it. Yeah, we can change it in this paint shed. Right. I can sand it off and paint it white. Yeah, that's for so, sure. That's uh, another advantage of it. That's sure. another advantage of having it in here right now. Really cool stuff. Let's go check out the next step. We're, we're in the process now. This boat is actually being painted. I see electronics and wiring going inside in the, in the house, uh, the salon area. But like Daniel's saying here, you've got details of this boat like we just showed you a second ago with that faux, faux teak on the back. It's going into the little details around the gunnel and up top around the bridge, so this is pretty awesome. And you're saying this, this is being prepped for the whole back side of it. Correct. Right. This bulkhead is being prepped right now for the air tee, uh, the hoe tee that we just saw on the transom. And we've started our drip molding, we've started sections of our tow rail that will actually have the graining in as it would be a, as a natural teak board inlaid in there. But way less expensive. But way, way less, less expensive. Maintenance. The maintenance is yeah. way down. So what we did here is a pretty fun option we got playing around. This is going to be a 62 foot boat powered with the C32A search. So it's going to be true rocket ship, this boat. So we've actually taken the engines, taken them down and painted them caterpillar, caterpillar yellow inside the boat. And we're going to come back and add the chrome package to it on top of it. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and Sportfish Yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot Sport Yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club, home to the area's only championship golf course designed by the legendary Robert Trent Jones Sr. Open to the public and now professionally managed by Billy Casper Golf. Set amongst scenic woodlands, Ocean Pines has newly renovated bent grass greens and ever improving golf course conditions that make it a must play. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at www.oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today.
We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked On OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Red Sun Custom Apparel is Ocean City's leader in t-shirts, embroidery, and promotional products. Simply put, the best graphics you'll see anywhere. Call Red Sun today at 302-988-8300. Worcester County, located on Maryland's eastern shore, is Maryland's only seaside county and is known for its clean sandy beaches, outdoor recreation, steamed crabs, and the famous wild ponies on Assateague Island's national and state seashore parks. Worcester County has everything to offer from its historical towns to Ocean City, filled with a three-mile boardwalk, amusement parks for the family, and its wonderful lifeguarded beaches. And for all the fishermen out there, Ocean City is home to the richest sport fishing tournament in the world and is the white marlin capital of the world. Visit Worcester County and discover its wonders. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, so there you go. Um, Daniel, thank you so much. Oh, guys, thank you for I mean, coming to see us. It was a real pleasure. It's been a pleasure to show you guys around, show you what we do here. Yeah, it, we, you're, you're a proud sponsor of Hooked <laughs> on OC, and we really appreciate your support of the show. But to come down here and show the folks that watch the show the process of how a multi-million dollar boat uh, is actually constructed from start to finish is pretty remarkable. I uh, hope you folks enjoyed it, but it is, it is amazing uh, the kind of thought processes that you have to put into how the boat is built and where things are going to go and then throw the customers wants and needs on top of that to make it all work in conjunction. It's kind of this beautiful symphony of things that you guys put together to make the final product come out what they are. It's amazing stuff. Well, sir, we appreciate you guys coming by. We're awfully proud of these boats and uh, what our guys do for us that work with us. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Well, there's two boats getting ready to go in the water, actually in the water, getting ready to go to get delivered. We've got the inappropriate right here, a 69 Spencer yacht. And over here, we've got the flight plan, a brand new 74 Spencer yacht. Listen, if you're watching the show and you happen to be in the market for a Spencer yacht, it's an easy one. What's the website? www.spenceryachtsinc.com. Spencer Yacht Inc. Spencer Yachts Inc. .com. Facebook page. Loads of folks on the Facebook page. It's Spencer Yachts on Facebook. We're hooked on OC on Facebook. So go there and like us. Like Spencer Yachts. We do some great footage with these guys when we get to go fishing with them. Probably going to be fishing on one of these boats in the near future out of Ocean City, which is an absolute honor. And we really appreciate you folks watching this episode of Hooked on OC. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. Thanks again, buddy. Thank you. Awesome tour. Thank anybody so gets chance? Anybody gets chance on our uh, website? Website there. There's a lot of virtual tours of different finished boats. There you go. So anybody at home can log on the uh, website and get on and walk through a dozen different boats at any time. Just go right through their computer and get to see them for themselves. Fantastic. Right there. You heard the man. It's www.spenceryachtsinc.com. See you next time.